Hello, Gorn. Hey, Space Frog. Hello, Intergods. Hello, Lolly. Well, let's see. Let's get this going here. Day 237. I just killed the Barbarian King. Let's run through the bros real quick. Alright, level 13 Sil Sword here. Level 13 Thief. Uh, the first indebted here. Level 14 Hedge Knight. <clears throat> Level 13 Brawler. Level 7 Indebted. Level 14 Cell Sword. Level 7 Tiny Indebted. Level 14 Noble. Another indebted here, duelist, indebted crossbowman thrower, indebted crossbowman shield bro, uh, level 16, militia banner, <clears throat> indebted crossbowman shield bro, indebted polearm whipper, <coughs> Indebted Duelist. Level 13 Hunter. Level 13 Hunter. Level 12 Killer on the Run. Polearm Whipper. Level 16 Fisherman Cleaver Bro. Level 14 Cultist. He is the madman. Did it shield, bro? Level five indebted. <clears throat> level five indebted and level six indebted. So these guys are all going to be mace guys. Probably make them nimble mace bros. All three of these indebted here. <clears throat> yep, you are the madman. Read the black book, became mad. This character has gazed into the abyss, and the abyss has gazed right back at him, turning him quite mad. He often rambles unintelligibly, and his cryptic mind has become inaccessible to both his peers and to the enemy. <clears throat> Immune against fear and mind control abilities. Hello, Scotty. <laughs> yeah, Tower is using a uh, a brigand shield right now. A heater. 
It's 95 durability. It's such a great shield. And we do have the immortal shield here. The Gilder's Embrace. So right now we're trying to level these three indebted here. We can get them to seven, then we'll be pretty much ready for the Kraken. Once we get them leveled, then I will get rid of the Drill Sergeant. And we will probably grab the Scout. Although I am considering Quartermaster. I think the scout would be better here. We are repairing loot. Good night, Lolly. And we're going to go get paid. We have 35,000 gold now. Plenty of tools. We're in the north right now. And we have to go way down, way back down there. Maybe we could sell before we get there. Oh, we need Necro Savants too. That's all. That's the other thing. Necro Savants. You know what? I'm gonna go look at this camp real quick before we leave. Tribal shacks. Oh, thralls. But normally, I normally I would ignore the thralls, but the non indebted need veteran levels. So everybody who doesn't have uh, ninety melee skill needs to get leveled up here. Like okay, needs to get in there. Yeah, 99 melee skill for that dude, so let's put OK in there. Ninety-three, ninety-two, ninety-three, eighty-seven, eighty, ninety-seven for Micah. <clears throat> Alright, OK needs some better armor. Yeah, the mace bro needs heavy armor. Why is the indebted wearing this really awesome armor? That's not good. Well, he can't very well wear that. Oh yeah, we should put these dudes in.
Let's do it. Hello, Hated Hollow. <laughs> Nothing juicy from that one. We can go ahead and sell the loot here. I'm gonna sell the armor. Do I need to keep... Those javelins. I know I don't need to keep the axes. Yeah, we're good on the javelins. I'm not gonna re repair some of this, and we don't bother that. Could buy these bandages. Not sure I have bros to use them, but I think we do, don't we? We don't need daggers anymore. Some of these dudes are right on the edge, though. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, the indebted, uh, they need every stam they can muster.
All right, let's check these shops. Oh, so that's a sword with armor pin. That's a mace with no damage. Do I have money? Should I just buy it anyways? It's got armor damage. Zero chance that we do shreds again. The shred fight destroyed us. There might be a strategy for it, but we're not doing eight of them again. I know that. So it rolls armor damage and shield damage. Only 10k is better than nothing. That puts this guy in all three fame weapons. Who knows, maybe the armor the armor damage is great against the orcs. That's pretty good mace. For a random find. We seize it, we buys it. How heavy is that regular mace? 16 versus the hammer's 18. So we could mace up some of these dudes. But you know, we're going to keep that mace because we got three mace dudes that we're building. We're building up three mace guys. We actually need two more mace. The goblin sword is better than this sword. <laughs> and do I want to buy this helmet? 200 for 12 for the step helm. I'm going to need armor for these guys here. These newbies. We'll deal with that later. Get them leveled up first. All the tools you got. Excellent sell price here. Holy cow. I don't need unhold hides anymore, so I'll get rid of that. I don't need this many axes. Maybe two. Keep six of these mace. <clears throat> Maybe six is good, yeah. That brings us back to thirty two thousand. This undead, because I know that's brigands. We're leaving the brigands, unless there's a champion in there. That's brigands, too. Let's check this one. 
Hedge Knight. Yeah, I don't need I don't need armor, but I need experience, so that's the better one. Yep, let's do it. Where is that hedge knight? We can dagger him with the indebted. If available. He's wearing shit armor. Another great sword, huh? See, that's what I wonder. I, I can just give these guys great swords. Give them great swords and maybe we don't even have to whip them. Yeah, the, the run is, uh, we're working on trying to finish the run up. We're getting there. Yeah, we did a few of the big events already. Oh! <laughs> 
The infected. Yeah. We're getting there. Building up that base. We grinded the last of the blueprints. So now there's no excuse. Yeah, the infected is all about just kind of enjoying the building, I think. The, it, the zombie killing is just not there for it. Not yet, anyways. But the building is uh, pretty incredible. Tremendous enjoyment. Well, we better do something about those two brigands down there. I'm gonna punch that dude to death. There we go. It can be done. It can be done. He and did it have no stamina. <laughs> That dude gonna break? Oh, break. Break, dude. Ah! <laughs> 
Well, we got his helmet and his armor anyways. And his sword. Yeah, the, the game The Infected is still in early access. But it's been available to play for a few years now. It's It's pretty entertaining to spend some time into it. If you like building and stuff. It uh, explores your inner creativity. Hello, Brass. Thousands of years ago. We're going to leave that brigand camp there. Emergency stash of indebted. All right, let's go get paid. Buy some tools here. We can repair these weapons and head back up to sell at the ambush trade routes. Check the shops. Check the shops. What if we should just give these guys training anyways? Is that where I want to go? That is where I want to go. I mean, that's where I want to go, so I might as well do it.
that's a stun. Well, that went a lot quicker than I thought it would. Hundred and thirty stamina with recover. Ninety hit points. Let's start getting resolve up. Alright, level six for this dude. Good roll. These, the rolls, the rolls will determine whether or not we get rid of these guys. Where they end up at seven is crucially important. All right, can I sell here? I just need to repair just a little bit. All right, that's good. Blacksmith doing work. So that's a plus 20. Plus 20 for two stamina. This is a 180 for 20 stamina. Oh, 
Yeah, the plus 20s are good for these 150s. Because it's a stamina... It's one stamina less. So, I could change this armor out. Let him put a 20 on there. Load a knee. Yep, get back to work, buddy. Get back to work, Ronan. Right, I'm going to buy the tools, but we're going to sell the loot. This cleaver has armor pin. Should I keep that? Maybe. Forty thousand below tower. Two forty five for eighteen. We actually have a guy who who could wear that. Damn, I wish I would have kept that plus twenty. Arkinstead. It's right there. That's a good contract. We take that. All day long. And I'm going to buy this armor too. Two forty five for eighteen. This one is two sixty for seventeen. This one is two forty five for seventeen. One more stamina, huh? All right, who was it? Who was it that was going to wear that? It was this guy? He's already has a one eighty for twenty. That's a big upgrade for him. Plus it gives him a bone plating. This guy is going to be very, very useful. I just wish that I could keep a shield on him, but can't afford bags and belts on his build. Maybe if I would have gotten rid of Fearsome, maybe. Thank <laughs> you. 
I could I use the plus ten easily. We can easily use that plus ten. Right here. I think maybe even on this armor, we can use put the plus ten on that one. A 270 nimble armor. Wow. That's worth. That's worth. That's worth 190 gold. Huh? Plus 40. Now using the plus 40. Free skull contract here.
What happened here? Holy cow. Can't lose that dude there.
Need you to live. He's out. He's done, right? Yep. He's dead. Another one bites the dust. That's what we get for bringing in the three noobs up here. I can't really do anything. The three noobs. This guy, he was there from the beginning, I think. 239 days, 165 battles, 141 kills. Another indebted bites the dust. Good thing there's a brigand camp nearby. Because we will have to grab another indebted as fast as we can. So that was one of the duelists, indebted, but we gave him a mace, a big mace for this battle, and he got caught up in the young. So the emergency brigand camp is up here. We 
We could possibly make it down here to the bottom. If we see brigands on the way, that's another one too. If we can see some brigands on the way then. That was a three skull. Or defend the uh, town mission there. Alright, good thing these other indebted are leveling up, finally. And we need to throw in another one here. And so, it's only a matter of time now. We have, look, everybody's already pissed off. So this is because we're at 12 indebted and 12 manhunters. We need to be at 13 indebted. Capturing an indebted is not that hard as long as we see the army. Or the king, right? can also do that. If we do that, then we can just head south, I think. Check on the mood. Every day, every day they lose mood. There's another tavern right there. This camp over here looks like undead. That could be brigands. I know for sure there's brigands right there, so we should probably go do that. Although there is a southern camp right there. Where are we? We're here. There's, we bought all the tools already. Oh no, we did not. Alright, so what's prepared? Buy some tools, buy some food. Alright, let's go ahead and head over here and see what that is. I have a feeling that might be brigands. Probably gonna be undead. Alright, it's undead. We can do the undead. And that should increase the mood a little bit to help out. So, these dudes who are uh, content, we need to we need to put them in. This guy's hung over, but he has to go in. Right, you have to go in. You have to go in. That's the best we can do. Yep, that is the best we can do there. We put you in there. Uh, this guy's hungover. The banner is drunk. The banner is drunk still. Can we do this without the banner? I think we can.
Yeah, this is just some crappy undead. We got this. Yeah, all the all of the non-indebted are useful though. The only guy that I have not been using is the polearm guy. This dude right here, this is the only guy that I have not been using. Our iron lungs, polearm, killer on the run. This polearm whip bro with overwhelm. He was extremely useful earlier in the run. 118 battles, 141 kills, but he hasn't even been in battle in, for the longest time. So the, the only good thing about having a spare non-indented is uh, if one of the other guys gets injured or something, you can sub him in and out.
Yeah, the, the non-indebted, because of the fact that we can't re even use all of them. Having a very specific bro is pretty useful. Like, this dude was extremely useful early on. And the only reason we haven't been using him now is because we found another found an indebted that does the same exact thing he does. So there's no point. Like, in this, some battles we were running two disarmers. But at this point, I just can't justify the, the killer on the run and the team unless uh, some weird situation like this where everyone's drunk. And I know we can't... I mean, we could probably do this one. So we, but we, need, to put the, <laughs> we need to put the banner back in there. Even though the banner is, what, hung over now still? Oh, he's still... The banner is still drunk. This guy's level 7 now, so we can use him in the front. Look at that. Nice melee skill there. But he's brute, though. Oh, he still gets 77 melee skill. And we were going to nimble these guys. I don't know if I want to nimble Forge. Or if I want to nimble Underdog. Or if I want to nimble Backstabber. But I do know that it has to be nimble. So let's see what we're going to do here. We could nimble shield. Shield mastery versus underdog. We already have a, we have two gunners already. Both of the no, these two hunters are gunners. They both have gun mastery and fearsome. Yeah, so we already have two gunners, and they both have fame guns to use. The thing is, is like you never want to put two guns in there because it takes up the Slots for somebody else. And I already have three indebted range bros right now. Three of the indebted are range bros. So at any given point, four indebted, only four indebted can be on the reserve. That means like right now I have to put at least one ranged indebted in there, no matter what. Because one of the indebted is a shield bro, so he has no damage. But in this situation, it's a little bit different. We're leveling up three more. One just got to level seven, so he can pretty much use any weapon for now. But And he's going to be a nimble bro now, so he's going to he, he's gonna suffer. That's why I'm thinking we have a choice here. We can nimble forge... We can nimble underdog, or we can nimble backstabber, or we can nimble shield. Nimble shield. We built these dudes just for the Kraken. But we want to be able to use them sometimes. But nimble shield might be the, the way to go here. Lovermentis.
So Nimble Forge just carry the shield. But then... I mean, we, we definitely have a bunch of Nimble Forge armor. People are using it right now. Though. We could obtain some normal Nimble armor fairly easily, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't like these guys in the front line, though. 81 hit points is better than some of the other ones, though, all right? 82 for that one. 92 for this one. Yeah, we're running out of frontline indebted. This is one here. He's drunk right now, though. 87 hit points. And then 77 for this one. We gave them all underdog and they lasted pretty good, pretty good ways. We just can't let them get surrounded by the orc young like the last guy did. So that was a positioning error. So we don't get any value out of shield mastery, except for goblin fights. The Mace Mastery is just for the Kraken fight. If we're going to use these guys for the Monolith, then shields are the way to go. Unless we can get one of them with some defense. The other two, here's the other one here. He's at level 6. Mediocre stats here. 78 hit points. And finally, here's the last one. 18 defense. So he has one more defense roll, so he gets 21 defense. And he'll have 90 hit points. So this guy might be a frontliner. Yeah, the new the new one. So shield mastery for Goblin City, Mace Mastery for the Kraken, and we just hope that we don't have to use them for the monolith. But if we do Then I guess Shield Mastery is probably going to be good for the Monolith, too. No other perk is, is going to benefit him for what he needs to be able to do. I'll probably just be keeping these guys in reserve, or maybe give them the normal fights, like, so for example, Orc fights. He could just rock the big mace. We have to make sure we don't put him in the front with the freaking uh, without underdog. He's going to get destroyed. All right, shield mastery it is. Not like we don't have plenty of fucking shields. What we do not have is plenty of nimble armor. I'm about to wear some of this... Some of the range bro armor for now. Sixty stamina, that's enough to stun people.
Let's try, let's try this shield bro out. See if he works. Will he work? These guys can get pole arms for this one. This will be the first battle where we actually get to use the shield for what it's meant to be for. A test of sorts. Hello, some weird sins. Yeah, we needed we need to test him out without being whipped though. To see how long he would last. I don't know how long he would last without being whipped. 116 melee defense. He's getting 
11 from the whip. I think it'll be fine, but I don't know. His hit points are so fucking low, though. He's not going to be able to shield wall forever, either. We can keep him whipped though. If we can keep him whipped. Then I think the the no shield wall might be okay. Just enough disarms and stuns where he can maintain some survival, hopefully. We got surrounded on the top up there. Need more damage from that cleaver. Alright, so resting, 82 resting. Fucking us up pretty bad. Can you just imagine what it's gonna be like? Keep him whipped. Whips and stuns. Now I'm worried about that new new indebted there. We're worried about you. He is confident. Closing in on that one pike up there. He's next to the honor guard with a cleaver, though. Need to get the other guy up there. Draw some attention. Right here. 
here. Maybe even a disarm, maybe. The gas, dude. The gas. Disarm time. Saved. We saved another one. Oh, look who's running away. Might as well get in there and tank some hits. Gotta get this one over with. It's going to be fun having those dudes as uh, shield mace bros. All those random stuns are going to come in handy. Can we make it to a camp now? These guys are still mad right now. They're going to get mad again. Next midday, I think. Unless we find some a camp in, in this fog right here. There is one there. I'm banking on finding something in the fog here, though. What do you know? That's what we need right there. Chico, hello Chico. 
old gun history. Eh. It's okay, I guess. I enjoyed playing Total War Empire. And then there was a, uh, a mod for Medieval Total War a while back that I used to love to play. It was a uh, Napoleon era. Yeah, post the link in the Discord. I'll uh, I'll definitely take a look at it. Mini outlaws, a few archers, no big deal. So everyone's still drunk and hungover. So. Not much we can do here. I don't think we need that much production from anyone. Just these dudes who took it real hard last time, just keep them back for this one. Like this guy. Just give him a shield. These range shields be perfectly fine. Where's the other one at? This guy? Is he ready for the front? I don't think so. We're good here. We're good. We are good. The only thing different I could do here is I can put in the archer. For the duelist. That way the archer gets a battle to help his mood. And change cleaver bros out, maybe. This guy while drunk is pitiful though, stat wise. We need to be able to kill him. We're only here for the indebted anyway, so... It's not that big of a deal. This camp is not that bad. Well, we lost an indebted, so what ends up happening is since we have 12 non-indebted and 12 indebted, they immediately get pissed off. So we took the uh, a bunch of drinks from the tavern to try to help the mood out a little bit. Wasn't as productive as it should have been, though. I think we'll be all right, though. Rest of the team is doing just fine. Fights like this are not a big deal. Easy fights. I think that's the, that's the trick to this origin. Just easy fights. And then we do take some hard ones. Pick and choose your hard ones at certain points of time. Like on this fight, we don't even need to worry about whipping. Which makes it easy. I consider any fight we don't have to whip is an easy fight. Where the non-indebted can just go in there and roll. Oof! <laughs> 
Okay, how good is he? Paranoid. Swift. Wow, this guy's actually pretty good. 40 range skill with three stars. Is this really what it's going to be again? 42 hit points. The problem is we have to take every single hit point roll. So I have, I'll have to decide whether or not he's going to be a crossbowman or not. We already have three indebted crossbowmen. Four indebted crossbowmen is insane. There's a lot of things he could be, but the problem is I already have guys that are doing that. I've got two indebted crossbowmen who leveled up melee defense. There's no point in having three of them. Ignore the range skill and just go for it, right? 54, one star. He just needs to get to 70 melee skill to be useful. And then with that extra defense, skipping... Could we skip shield mastery on this guy and make him a true frontliner? His HP is still way too low, I think. But he does have a little bit more stamina. We could just make him into one of the quick cans battle forge guys like we did on the other ones. <clears throat> Let's see. This dude is at... Ninety-five stamina, and he's he has to wear the light armor. So he has a lot more stamina. I already have two duelists indebted, and look, you know what? We did just lose a duelist indebted. So on the duelist indebted, we took fast adaptation, which doesn't really help. It it helps, but it doesn't really help these these guys the way we're using them. You know what? Maybe that is helping out a lot too, especially in the orc battles. But I'm only using one duelist for the orc battles, and it's this guy. Well, he all the the indebted. So every single indebted gets student, colossus, and gifted. Every single indebted gets that. Student, so we can take the bottom row of perks. Colossus, because they need to live, and gifted, because they need the extra stats. We don't level stamina. We level melee skill, melee defense, and hit points every single roll. Doesn't matter what they roll. Even if they roll a 2 in hit points, we take it. This guy, he'll never roll a 1 in melee skill, so it'll be a, a roll of a minimum of 2 each time. The gifted will give him a plus 3. So he gets... seven four, He'll get 14 plus 3, so he'll get 17 melee skill. Which makes him perfectly usable. And then with the 10 defense, he'll roll a pretty good defense. So he'll be the, the most defensive indebted that we have. Other than the, the one shield bro. The sure-footed shield bro has 33 melee defense. <laughs> yeah. You know what? How much? Let's see. How much stamina does your guy have? That's what. Let's take a look at that. A hundred stamina, and the new guy has 
102. But it's the same problem with the lack of hit points. We actually skip hit point rolls to take resolve rolls on the shield, bro. Yeah, it's the same problem on both of us. You, you can only last so long. And he should not be carrying the net and the bandage, that's for sure. This guy can carry the net and the bandage. And he can also wear some armor and get in the back line. Just give him a shield so he doesn't die. So for this dude, here is the other guy who's actually level 7 now. So if the other one we did, where is he? Nimble and Shield Mastery. For this guy, he's at 18. Here, let's level him first. Alright, 2, 3, and a max hit point roll. 93 hit points, 21 defense, 73 attack. So for the all the each one of the mace guys, we have to go nimble. We don't have an armor for him to wear yet. We just have to wear some of the something else that's light here. Twenty. He can probably wear this one. Yeah, lots of usable stamina. I'm thinking this guy could definitely front line. Twenty one defense. See the thing is is if we if we frontline him then we have to give him underdog. The last Manhunter playthrough I gave everybody Steel Brow instead of Underdog. And they ended up dying anyways. This playthrough we're able to keep him alive because we think it's because of underdog. With Nimble, he's not going to need Steel Brow. He's either going to get Underdog, Backstabber, or Shield Mastery. What was the defense on this other guy? This is the other one. See, he rolled... <laughs> the other guy rolled more defense than this dude did. With two stars. And more melee skill, too. The, the other guy, we don't even have to whip. This dude, we're going to have to keep whipped. From the B, do anything. Which means he's going to have buff stats. He'll get his 90 melee skill. He'll get his 30 defense. Which is good enough as long as we keep him in the middle. And don't run him in there against four orcs like the last guy. Mace Mastery for the Kraken. Underdog for the front line. He's not going to be as useful without quick hands. What What's his stamina? He's going to have lots of stamina because he's nimble. Huh? Do I skip Underdog for quick hands? You know what? Let's do that. Yeah, we're going all in on the uh, the Mace Mastery here. 
You can carry the big one, and then you can pocket the two tall one. Yeah, he's going to be extremely useful. But for now, he's going to sit on the bench. He's a subber. We sub him in. All right, so we have a new level one guy to level up. And one more indebted is level six, right? One more. This guy's almost there. He's at 72.19, so he'll get 21 defense and 75 melee skill, which puts him close to the dude here. Same defense, same melee skill. So in a situation like this where we have uh, all these shield bros in there, it gives us a little bit of an opportunity to be more aggressive, I think. Not having to bring the brawler, who is our non-indebted shield bro. Which allows us to put another cleaver bro in there, another non indebted frontliner. And if we give the indebted shield master, we don't have to whip them every single round. Yeah, look at that 50 resting defense and enough stamina to wall up. I think that's got to be the play here. Because we already made the other the other one a frontliner, and then this one's going to be pretty good defense. So give him ma shield mastery, and then the third one, or the this is the fourth one. He has a lot of defense, so he'll be a frontliner. This guy will be a quick hands frontliner. There you go. That's the play. That's the play. The plan is in set. Now all we have to do is figure out how to execute it. Without them executing us. We need more bandages. Alright, get that guy off the front. Get that guy off the front. And put this guy in. He just needs armor. And not on the... Get him off the flank. He also needs a pole mace. For now, he can carry a bill hook. can wear that cheap armor there. It's 75 nimble. That's something. We just we have we can't forget that he does not have underdog. So do not do not be aggressive. <laughs> Give him the gladiator helm so we know which one he is. No aggressiveness. Alright, now we just need to heal our hangovers. Alright, we're back in action now. We're back in the saddle. No excuses for people to be pissed off now. I might as well eat this fall while we're over here. We've got the food. We've got the time. And we need the levels.
Yeah, we we won't sacrifice anybody until those until that tough fight comes around. We do know where the monolith is. It's right here. But we did find it. We're not 100% ready for it yet. We can get these other indebted leveled up. And find some necrosavants. I think we'll probably do the Kraken. I'm just glad we actually found it decent indebted. That dude's going to help out a lot in the monolith. Alright, are we still drunk now? The drunkness is cured. Alright, get your ass back in there. Alright, you get in there. I still got a crossbowman in there. That's wrong. Pull him out. Alright, level one, bro. Alright, remember. We gotta remember. Don't be aggressive with this guy. In fact... We need to keep him between two whippers. I think that's good there. And then the, the polearm whipper is behind him. And the disarm bro, other disarm bro is there. So 28 defense. Put this guy up front. Yeah, in fact, we should be just, just keep him in the back. Yeah, let's do this right here. There we go. Get the level one guy next to the banner. Perfect. Let's roll. Wait, double check. We should have four indebted in reserve. And we do. I think I like the axe bro over the cleaver bro here. This guy needs one more level, veteran level, to get 90 melee skill. That puts all our frontline and non indebted at 90 once that happens.
All right. Not too bad there. And we found the treasure. <laughs> the Duke. Like I said before, I'm gonna like these these mace bros. These indebted mace bros are gonna come in real handy. Like if I could do this run over again from the beginning, instead of building the frontliner dudes, I just give them all a mace mastery. Although I have to say some of them are actually doing some pretty good damage with the two hand weapons, as long as they stay whipped. Probably head back up here and buy food. I don't really need to do the snake fight. We don't need to suffer, uh, suffer through that. Hyenas. I've got, we only needed one hyena pelt. And I got the gun, the gun pouches that we needed, so. And we definitely don't need to do hyenas. So now the shield bro is going to sit. So if he's going to sit, then we're going to put that armor on someone else. And maybe we'll give this guy the immortal shield. This one with a minus three is not bad. But the immortal shield is immortally better. Because so now this this nimble shield bro now is going to be a staple in the formation now. Now we don't have to bring in the the plebe crossbowman anymore. So, two beast fights here. I mean, XP is XP, right? I think we gotta go for it just for the experience. Just don't kill my level two guy here. Keep him in the middle. And just remember about this guy, right? In fact, we can probably just shield mace him up right now. A little bit of protection.
I think snakes should drop food. You know? Like, who the hell wants to eat freaking hyena meat when you can have snake meat instead? Oh yeah, the stunners are doing their thing. Hello, El Capu. How's it going, man? All right, level 14 for Gorn. He's got plenty of stamina. He needs, we need to level his hit points. All right, this guy's level seven now. Let's see the roll. The roll is, okay, I would have preferred more hit points, but that's good. Good roll. Twenty two is seventy five twenty two. All right, all the mace bros need nimble. Eighty two. See the other shield bro. He's at 81 hit points. He's at 82. 
And then we made the other guy a frontliner without underdog, right? This guy. Hmm, should we do something interesting here? A little silver shot. What makes him the most useful for the fights that we need him in? I can't deny the fact that Shield Mastery works so good against the goblins. The normal frontline and dead get ripped apart by the goblins because they don't have any any way to protect themselves. The battle forge is just not working. Especially against the champions. Battle forge alone is just not good enough. So I think this dude I'm taking the shield mastery just like we did on the last one, especially since he's nimble, right? He will be useful. We will make him useful. We just need to find some armor to put on him. He's not useful yet. Not just yet. There we go. There we go. Yeah, look at the difference here. 47 defense for this guy. 41 for the guy without shield mastery. Alright, do we care about the snakes? I don't think so. I think we need to repair what we can and head south. Yeah, we need to sell some loot. Thanks for the follow, by the way. RTG. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, don't buy too much into that high credit score nonsense. They just want you to keep spinning it. But in your situation, credit is going to be pretty important. So we could come up here and sell up here. There is a camp here. Plus we can buy the tools from there. We do need to head east and look for Necrosavants. But I would like to go back to the arena as well. We should just head straight down. Let's see if we can find another camp roaming around here somewhere. And then we'll head straight here and we'll do the, the southern run. Alright, there's another one there. No champion yet. Ooh, that's a beefy one. So we'll come back for that one when we have loot space. Eleven snakes. That might be easy enough for some XP, huh? That one we take. So sit this dude down. Uh, even the banner can probably sit down. Let's keep the banner in there. Let's see. You, you, you. You get up front. You're up front. Okay. So get Lolly back in there. The Hammer Bros. 99 melee skill. Keep leveling all the melee skill here. We'll run forward with the non-indebted. Uh, they're going to steal all the kills. All right, fuck you then. All right, we should sell here, I think. Yep, pretty good price. The Duke has spoken again. Nobody better question the Duke. That is a much better helmet, right, for a nimble bro? We're gonna we have two nimble bros that need helmets. <laughs> nimble bro needs a nimble armor. He can wear this one, huh? And we have two Battleforge armors. This one's a fame. A light fame. Both of those are pretty good. The Mace Bro. He can wear the Oath Taker armor. The Flail Bro is fine. This Cleaver Bro. He's the one with recover, though. We 
Where's El Chapo at? 70 versus 71. Alright, we'll put the... He's got the barb cleaver, so we'll give him that armor. The hammer bro. I guess he can use the fame. Everybody else is chilling. Now we have a spare 250. This is a good helmet, but it's minus 19. How much does a two tile stun cost? 23 stamina with mastery. Should I go ahead and pad up this Oathaker armor? I guess so. So we have a fame helmet here, we might as well use it. Alright, so that's what we're left with. Spare 250, so we still have the one dude leveling, right? So depending on his stamina, we need to keep him... We need to keep this helmet for him, and then he needs this this no we'll probably we'll probably put the fame armor on him 34 yeah he'll probably just wear the fame because we're good we're gonna give him quick hands and a big two tile weapon Yeah, there's plenty of mods on this playthrough. You can take a look at them. They don't make the game any easier other than maybe the pause mod. But to me, that's mostly just a visual thing. A tentative. Like how glued to the screen do you want to be when you're roaming around? I wonder if I should potion this guy just to get him a level faster. Saving the potions for any of the non-indebted. Once we get to the point where we're going to go to actually do a legendary, then we can potion up one of the non-indebted to see if maybe they can hit the next level before we do the whatever fight it is. Like right now, the, look how close the banner is to level 17. So we'll just potion him. And we're about to go do the arena too, so. I'm going to wait on the tools, but I'll buy the food. Oh, 
And the shield bro needs some armor, so we'll put the lighter armor on him for now. And then we have a spare 300 set. May come in handy later. We need to find some nimble armor. Caravan to Dornan. I don't think there's anything at Dornan. Yeah, Dornan. There's nothing at Dornan worth caravanning to. So let's keep heading this way. To the next town. To the next town we go. I should be able to snatch some nimble armor from one of the nomad camps. If we could find one. Nomads to the west. That's not this one. But there must be another one over here. We're going east though. Probably is not a champion in this camp, but we should go check just to make sure. That is beasts. And the hyenas give us XP, so I think we take it. All right, both shield bros are online, so let's put them on the flanks. Good and good. Also, thanks for the follow. Zai. Inbrum, thank you so much for that subscription, man. That is very generous of you. On a Tuesday, no less. On a Tuesday. Thanks a lot. The subscriptions mean a lot. They really do. Hmm. 
Minus sixty percent melee skill. <laughs> no problem. No problem at all. He just rolled three twenty sixes in a row. Three nomads, all right. So, where are we at on the banner right now? So, he gets his plus 10 in this battle. Perfect. We'll give him the sword. Get in there and get your plus 10, buddy. All right, two more. All right, decent level here, I guess. Wouldn't give him a student now. Okay, I need two helpers for the banner. So Gorn. Gorn's only done one match. This guy's ready for his plus five. Horst. So we have some bros here that need names. So if anybody wants to become a bro, just chime up in chat and we'll throw you in. Moon, Ice Moon will get you in there and waffle. That's a big fight right there. So the banner gets a plus 10, and then the new Sil Sword gets a plus 5. As Moon. The Iron Lung Sill Sword. Now with plus five resolve. Excellent. 
the banner with a plus 10. It puts him at 136. Let's see, hold on. 148, resting resolve. Come to find out the banner is not as important as you may think with the indebted. We're already whipping the shit out of them anyways, and it, it resets their resolve, so... Resolve is not as important. Even in the undead fights. Even early on in the undead fights. So the only purpose of the banner is to help the non-indebted. It might be an interesting playthrough if you put a rule set in there for yourself to have all of the non indebted be backliners. That might be an interesting playthrough. You wouldn't even need a you wouldn't even need a banner for that playthrough. And I don't know. I don't know if I could stomach another in one of these runs. This is my second man hunter run, and I'm already at that point, dude. Good job, team. Buy some more potions. We're potion hoarding like crazy. <laughs> Gotta find Necro Savants. Listen, I don't really need the pelts, do I? There's no sense in pelting the nimble armor. The the bone plating is gonna be way more useful than the uh, hyena pelts. I've only got one initiative bro. So I only need one initiative armor. In fact, I could probably, you know, what we could probably do is uh, I can bone plate this armor and then find a normal nimble armor for this guy. So we, we could get one more padding. Yeah, just one more, so save. I'll save three for one. One pad. And we do need more bandages, so we'll buy those. So now we're gonna we're gonna plate up that armor, right? So each one of the nimble mace bros now has a bone plating.
looking good, looking good. And we already bought tools, right? Yep. Could take the boat. So where are the Necrosavants? We already hit the southern... Okay, so here's... We already went through down here. And we already went through down here. And we went through over here. No Necrosavants there. So either they're hiding over here on the left side here. Or... There's somewhere in this fog right here. That's where we need to go, right here. Straight up. Unhold seem good. We could use more bone plating. We're going to take some damage here. Nighttime. Nighttime it is. Terrible terrain, man. Yeah, the food situation is gonna be gr always gonna be grim, but the unhold should give us food, right? This terrain sucks. It doesn't really get any better if we back up. Maybe we can get up here.
Surprised they're not tossing here. We need to keep this guy back. The ones on the top, I don't know what the hell they're even thinking about doing. Coming around the flank, it looks like. So now we need to pull forward to try to take care of this one here on the bottom. I guess we climb back up on this high ground. Those last two might run away, but I, I think that's all right.
Might just go for the banner. Yep, he's out of there. Oh, the other one came in. Front and center. Okay, why can I not attack that guy? Short-sighted. Short-sighted with a minus three vision helmet. <laughs> that other one's still over there somewhere. Not sure if he wants to come play ball or not. We're ready for him if he does. Lots of food and lots of highs. Hello, Rando Calrissian. And I think Waffle, Waffle asked for a bro, right? Anyone else wants in? Speak now. Try to fill up all the non indebted first with names. All right, you're going to be, you can be a 
Here, I'll give you the better of the... Uh, indebted here. One-handed bros. Well, this time you're going to be the noble. You've been knighted. And you will carry the hammer. And you will slam the orcs. <laughs> Yeah, we have 396 food. We are fine. More ancient undead. We kill these, then maybe those savants will come out. We could also get the undead crisis next, which would be great. Then we then we might actually find some Roman around. All right, the only change I need here is I need the shield bro in there. Hello, WGS.
Good night, Waffle. So far, all the quotes have been handpicked. You know what? I bet I can. I bet I can put some more on there later today. I was actually thinking about doing that yesterday, but then I ended up getting caught up with the infected. Look at this roll. Nice. Still a bit low on that HP, though. This bro is going to be pretty solid, I think. Yeah, all the runs will be on YouTube eventually. I've been trying to get some of the older ones on there. I can only do about three to four VODs per day, though. And then on some of these days, I've been streaming so late that I just pass out. So I don't have any. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to get a lot of them on there. I put some more of the Deserter playthrough on there uh, last night. And then hopefully tonight I'll put some more on there. Yeah, all the runs will be on there. So I have uh, the rest of the Deserter run to put up. Then I have the, the Poachers to put on there. The Anatomist run to put on there. The Oath Takers. Uh... The Barbarian Raiders, those are all full runs that I need to put on there. I have a lot of runs to put on there. The Gladiator run I need to put on there, I think, still. I think the Gladiators is on there, yeah. But right now, the... The uh, the Manhunter run is on the VODs, the Twitch VODs. So at least it's available there. Alright, there's goblins. Oh, wow. So, you could, we could basically cheese this by letting the Linworms kill all the goblins and then running away. I normally don't like to do that, though. I'd rather see what the team can do against the goblins. But not during the fucking day. So that's going to be a night time. Reason why we have all these night, night owl elixirs here. So, we're going to leave that one for later. Let's keep going to the fog here. We're going to ignore the linworms. And it's unfortunate, but I think this is not a linworm playthrough. The cost of losing one indebted right now is just too incredibly massive. I don't think we could swing it. If I lose an indebted right now, then I have to turn around and go find a brigand camp somewhere before the team, these dudes, run away. So we have to keep them alive. Alright, now this camp we can probably go do. It's close to nighttime. Just watch out for the linworms. We don't want them popping up at us here. 
two shamans. That, this one's going to be brutal. This should tell us what we need to know, though. The indebted have a cap limit of level 7. You're only allowed to get level 7. That's the only special thing about them. The origin, the Manhunter origin, has some special things to it. Where you're, you have to have one more indebted on the team than non-indebted. And you also have to have one more indebted in battle than non-indebted. Which, because of the fact that you can put 16 men in battle, that means you have to have two more indebted in battle. If you want the full 16, otherwise you'll have to go with... Uh, Less non indebted. But since they can only get level 7, you can use the non indebted to whip them to buff their stats a little bit. That's what this quote unquote special thing is is the whipping. Which means you'll have non indebted on your team that can do the whip skill. but then they won't be able to do anything else. So that's why they all need Pathfinder. And why we went Cleaver Bros. Well, of course, we found the Cleavers, but Cleaver, Cleaver Bros are great because they can attack once and whip in the same turn. <clears throat> as long as they don't have to move. And then the duelist right here, we have a duelist. He is. Where's my. Here's my duelist here. So duelists are good as well. They can attack once and whip in the same turn. And then backline bros are also good. Here's a backliner. He can whip twice, <clears throat> he can disarm and then. He can disarm and then crack the whip in the same turn. The banner can crack the whip and attack in the same turn because he has polar mastery. So all the non indebted have to be very you have to be very uh careful with how you build them. And then the other good thing is you can... Berserk has some good play here because it lets you kill somebody and then crack the whip on another non-indebted. <coughs> so all the non-indebted have Berserk except for the mace guy. And the only reason we didn't give the mace guy Berserk is because we gave him uh, Spear Mastery so he can be our one spear bro. So let's start thinking about how we're going to approach these goblins. Preferably a strategy that does not end in failure and death. There's no champions, so we're not going to get one turned. I think the shield bros need to get up front here. We need to test them out. We need to test out how good the nimble shield bros are there's the three shield bros there we can throw in another one a non-indebted shield bro so the the sniper i'm gonna put him in there 
And we'll give him the cheater helmet. He'll go in for the duelist, I think. Uh, we need to keep some DPS in there somehow. So we're going to sub out some of the indebted for crossbowmen here. Whichever one of these dudes we put in, we need night potions for. That's four there, and another one would make five if we can get the gunner in there somehow. Yeah, well, this guy is actually nimble, so we need to get we need to find him some nimble armor. Which, if we were to mix armors around, I'm sure we can get him better armor. But he's not even going to be in this fight. But we will be doing that here shortly. So this dude, yeah, this dude with 70 melee skill and no nimble, no battle force. We need to get him out of there. Ninety-two hit points. There we go. Throw him in there. 87 hit points. He's good. This is where the swords would help out. Did did I sell that other sword? What did I do with my other great sword? I guess I did sell it. Alright, so we don't need the mace bro here. We can sit him for another shield bro. And the indebted noob, we'll keep him in there just to... We need to throw him on the far flank here and just back him up. These bros, these guys need to shit switch to the uh, goblin shields. So with this formation, I only need to use three potions. Let's try two. All right, so we want to sit. We want to sit this guy down. Let's put that crossbow on somebody else on this guy.
Well, there you go. There's the team. The only difference that we could do to make a difference would be put in the higher melee skill guys in the front. Sit the fisherman for the hammer bro, maybe. Cleaver bros are good, though, because they can attack and, br and break nets. Maybe put them on the flanks. Yeah, but let's put the duelist in there. And put the cleaver bro instead of the flail. There we go. Well, let's see how it goes. Thirty-one goblins. Hello, Moisty. So, for Battle Brothers, you want the DLC. 100%. You want the, trust me, you want it. I couldn't even imagine playing it without the DLC. I don't even remember playing it without the DLC. Long, long, long ago, before the DLC, that it was a pretty good game. But each and every DLC has made the game way better. Especially the Beast one. When the Beast one came out, it basically doubled the enjoyment. Yeah, well, that's a... I guess that's a DLC now. It was a supporter thing before. It wasn't really a DLC before. It was a, uh, a reward for the supporter pack, but... The Cheater Helm is pretty cool. You can always do a run where you don't use it, though. But then you wouldn't be able to do that. And then of course there's night potions now, so... So these shield bros, I'm just gonna run them in there to get netted. No, we're not gonna crack the whip on them or anything. Nice shot. I guess the night owl, night owl potion came in handy there.
Killing that shaman early was probably the difference here. Potions are doing pretty good too. Not to mention these fame cleavers are goblin killers as well. Uh, this team lineup here is I'm liking it. strength right we still have them we're only 15 strong here this is uneven ground though yeah i could whip here but i don't even need to Oh, 
on Lapa. <laughs> Man, that was pretty strong, huh? Pushing this shield bros to the front. I think that was a pretty good strategy there. I don't feel so bad about going and taking that other one down now. Can't be too overconfident, though. Killing that shaman early, that's... That makes all the difference, I think. All the difference. Plus there's linworms down there too. We don't want to be messing around down there. We need necker savants. Well, do we dare try goblins during the day? There's too many archers, right? If we really want to test how good the team is, that's what we should do. Goblins during the day. Is it even doable? There's only 20 of them. They're shooting the banner on the high ground. here with the extra range defense. Yep, run him in there. Oh, 
on Lapa. Oh, how aggressive do we want to be? This guy's not strong enough to go run in there, is he? I could probably go here, though. Duelist only has 86 HP. We don't need him getting daggered down in there either. Whoever goes here is just going to get netted and daggered. We're going to have to keep whipping these guys till we can get forward. Shoot them. Just keep shooting. put the gilder in here but then I need to make sure that we can whip him if I do that yeah he has nine lives too so <laughs> already going for it, huh? Now we can throw the duelist in there, I think. Go for it. Oh, <laughs> 
Alright, good snipe there. Good one there. One, two, three. Double kill for the duelist. If anything, we'll just get these guys as close as possible so they can whip. Break that net. There we go. Double break there. Yeah, we, we can't afford to whip the crossbowman anymore here. Yeah, I think one more polearm guy would be perfect here. So this dude down here, he's going to eventually have quick hands and a polearm. So I, th I think this team setup should be fine. This guy? No. Let's whip this dude instead. We can do both. <laughs> We're here. Just fucking stun everybody. That's our new strategy. Oh! 
A little grossly incandescent. Hello, Erdwin. Erdwinian. It'd be nice if some of these big goblin camps would have famed items. We need some reward for all this hard work. Two shamans again, wow. Yeah, we have the largest card size, I think, ever. 198. The, the caravan upgrading the card early on. That was pretty big. And then we dismissed him, too. Well, let's see. 257 food. Wagenheim is right there. One more line of fall glare here. I don't think we can get back to that camp before uh, the end of night time. So let's just keep going north here. Kill the swamp. 200 food now. We eat so much food. We need something here, come on. Wolf Riders. The Troll Riders.
So these dudes are actually pretty good for troll riders. We just put them in the front. They have shield mastery and a little bit of melee defense. They work out great. Let's do... Put the polearm guy in there. This guy's missing his crossbow. Where the hell is his crossbow at? Orcs and the goblins are fighting each other. Yeah, we got a pretty good orc camp there. Okay, so whoever wins this, we take them down. Meanwhile, seven to ten warriors. This is a big one. Yeah, we don't have any loot space here. We need the food, though. We gotta go for it. I'll just trade all the crap out. I'm not concerned with that. Meanwhile... We do need to reconsider our shield bro strategy here. So, put take the brawler out. Put in the mace, bro. We need the, the blaster in there. Alright, the blaster's there. And his armor is right here. Yeah, the shield, the shield mace indebted are not for the orc fights. Neither are the shield crossbowmen. So indebted team is is ready. Now we just need to figure out what we're gonna do here. Let's give this guy the hammer. Alright, the duelist is good. The hammer needs to get in there. And then we need the flail in for one of the cleavers right here. Let's throw the shield bro up top. This hammer bro can soak the bottom. And now I need somebody with underdog right there. 26 defense. Where's my 28 at? There's my guy with 28 there. So the two hammers next to each other, that's fine. 26 defense can go there, then 23 defense can come back here. And then we need to get this. And what do we do with this dude now? Do we keep him in there? No way, dude. We didn't give him shield mastery yet, right? So the level 4 guy's got to be benched. So we will use one of these shield bros, shield mace bros. And his job is to protect the flank, so he needs a melee defense shield. Where's that 
26 defense shield. There you go. Two shield bros up top. The blaster's ready. Spear bro. Spearman is there. Let's go ahead and put the blaster right there. We still have a thrower in here, though. We need to get this thrower out of here. Damn, I guess we do put in the other shield mace guy. That's right, because we're short of frontliner right here. The level 4 guy is supposed to be our other indebted frontliner. If that's the case, then we probably should put in one of the crossbow shield bros. Let's put this guy in there. Alright, he needs a melee defense shield. That's 21. That's good. Alright, looking good. Looking good. This is the team. Let's pounce. Thirty two. Hello, lazy. Want the spear bro to do some work for us. But I would like to use this choke right here. So I think if I put the spear bro right there, we can spear wall all these young right there. That means the, the bottom needs to fold up and backwards a little bit. Which we're gonna have to do that anyways on the top, huh? We've got works coming from the top up there. We need everybody to move back. Hey there, Micah. We don't need to whip. We'll wait till next turn to whip. I could whip the crossbow. Right here. Alright. Now we're going to press in. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Come in there now. I dare you. Okay, so let's move down here. I'm gonna put the gunner right behind that spear, bro. So move back a little bit there. Warlord is on top. So the gunner is gonna go here. 
Flail's gonna go there. Heal bro will go right there. This guy can just move up and strike. Take the shot or it can go for the jab here. Go for the jab. I need someone to take that spot. Plus, I need the hammer up top, too, don't I? Look at all that fucking madness up there. We need the hammer up top. Yep, we're gonna have to reposition here a little bit. Well, I'll just back him up, or we wanted him right here, didn't we? I'm gonna put him here. They could still jump in right there, so I can put that guy there. I'm going with that dude. Bring this guy down. This guy can go here or there. Then we'll close in there. Gives us some options with the back line now. They're already whipping out the jabs. <laughs> the spearman forces them to whip out the jabs, which prevents them from stunning us, which is good. So the Warlord is about two turns away, huh? We got the Chain Bro here to worry about. To figure out how to DPS him down. I don't want this Young coming in there and stunning somebody. I just put a guy on him now. Alright. We need to put the mace bro in position now. Right here. So if I can zert blast, that would be good. Well, that's pretty good. But now we have a problem. Because I can't move this guy in there. That's what we did last time with the mace guy, and he ended up dead. Your follower, your followers should be mixed up depending on what, what you have going on. I like to pick... Uh, one or two of the same ones early on, but later on, depending on how your playthrough is going, should determine which followers you take. And don't ever try to lock yourself into the same thing every time. Oh. 
If I can shield bash this guy and walk up. That puts the flail on just the shield, bro. I would have preferred the round swing, but I don't think the indebted guy can take the round swing. Just go for the kill, right? Send him home. It's too bad I don't have quick hands. I can whip. And I can net. He's just going to have to tank that hit. Those work young without shields. How cool is that? That was wrong. Alright, so now their worst fears are here now. This guy without underdog is on the flank. And un and not whipped. So can I zerk last here? Do that. And I get to reload. Yeah, we sent everybody up top. But I still do have the crossbow shield, bro, who's right here. Yeah, the spearman, he's up against some uh, young that don't have shields. <clears throat> so he'll be fine for a little bit. I'm a little worried about our shield, bro, up top now. I'm not sure what we can do about him yet. I could just try to create some space here. As far as the flail goes... Get the flail more towards the le that top flank as much as we can. I can put this guy here. He has underdog. He's the guy with a lot of defense too, and he's whipped. All right, here we go. Chain the chain. Don't do it. Duck. Woo. 40. Oh my. 40%. You're not going to dodge too many more of those 40s. We have to keep these guys whipped somehow. You know, I want to go in for the strike here, but I just can't do it. Yep, the whip is too important here. Disarm dude needs to head up top, I think. That's a juicy reap right there. But I can't take it. 
We could rally our flail bros breaking. We could rally whip. Let's wait until the warlord goes first. Let's see what the warlord's gonna do here. Looks like the crossbow has another shot in him. Let's take it. And he can probably just stay right where he is. I can walk up and blast right here. Now I can whip out a jab. This warrior is going to bully his way in though. If he can stun and then walk down, that would be great. Perfect. See how that young likes to be stunned. Can I bash him again? If I can bash him and walk away, that prevents him from going next turn. So shield bash gets a percentage to hit once you uh, have the mastery. 15% chance to knock back. See, all I gotta do now is just that. And now the warlord can't do anything and the chain bro can't do anything. And I can even come down. This dude right here is not whipped. We can bring him down and put another one in this warrior. So that's fine right there. That's fine. You want to walk in front of the hammer? So this guy's wavering and he can't attack anybody, so we're, it's a double whip situation, I think. So let's get it on you. And let's keep the shield bro whip. Spear wall's doing good. Let's keep at it there. The spear waller has iron lungs. So that helps out a lot. And this spear is a minus two. But it is at 71% durability. The whipping bus buffs the stats of the level seven guys. When you whip them, they get some stat stats added to them based on whatever level the whipper is. This is the maximum stat increase that you can get from the whip. 11 defense and 20 attack. 20 resolve. So your 70 melee skill indebted to get 100 melee skill, basically, with confidence.
Now it's time to disarm. 91%. We need to whip that shield bro over there. And we need to keep the whip up on this dude. He's stunned now. Spear is still doing work. Slam this guy. Slam him. That's a nice fearsome proc there. So this young... Okay, we have a young down here on the bottom. He's coming in for the stuns. So this dude, when whipped, is 102 melee skill, and he's a duelist. And he has a fame hammer. So let's see what he can do here. Not bad. 20 hit point damage right through the armor. The shield bro, when whipped, is at 66 melee defense. That's without shield wall. Same shield coming in handy there. Yeah, the no indom is going to be a problem here. Could be an issue. We killed the warrior right here in the middle. That would have been causing problems. But now the warriors on the top are going to bully their way down to try to get to the, the two uh, no defense guys here. Alright, the spear bro is doing just fine here. We can whip somebody. So let's crack it right there. Here we go, turn four. Chain bro is probably going to go for the stun right here, maybe. Nope. He wasted his turn. That's wonderful. So, we can attack once and whip. So we attack once, and now we whip. And we better whip the guy that's stunned. Keep his defense up. Now we can shield wall here, I think that's important. 98 melee defense now. Now we have to do something about that Zerker over there, so let's go over there and jab him. We can slam this warrior. The warlord's gonna have 40 more hit point damage guarantee as long as we hit him. Look at that. Nice hit. Nice hit. Now we can walk in and slam him. Look at the AoE here. So now we're going to whip this guy. I'm going to whip you. And I'm going to whip... The, I'm going to whip the whipper. This guy pulls out a shield. He walls up. Check him out. 96 melee defense. Look at that. On a fucking crossbowman. We have fast adaptation on the indebted duelists. Here's what here's the build here. The other guy that had the same build died. 
But this was the build. We ran two guys with this build for a while. It worked out pretty well. The other indebted don't really need fast adaptation because uh, you're just whipping them and they get melee skill. Look at this guy's at 97. This dude's at 92. Look at this dude. 107 melee skill when whipped. Look at the whipper, dude. The whipper is 106 melee skill. He's disarming at 95%. He just disarmed the warlord at 91%. Hello, Scorpio. So we have one more shot on the the warlord here with the bill hook. Let's take it. Nice. Let's switch to the axe now. So that was a body hit. That armor actually came in pretty good there. He took a body hit there. Oh, the he had, the warrior has a shield though. He's not double gripping. That's the biggest problems on these dudes when he's indebted is the melee defense. So that's why underdog is working a hell of a lot better than Steelbrow. So now we just need to keep the whips up here. Who wants it? You do. And... I think the shield bro is fine there, so maybe we should get closer here. We should... Yeah, we should get closer. Let's get closer to the flank. So now the spear bro has nothing to do really. He can just walk in and start taking this young down, I think. He might get stunned next turn, but I think that's okay. As long as we're giving the, the young in the back something to do. If I can kill this young here, I can put a couple more into that warrior, maybe. Miss. Oh yeah, he's stamped out, yeah. We need to recover that. Pick up the hammer, bro. The hammer, bro, is in a pretty bad scenario here. He's in pretty good armor.
We should probably should have kept the spear wall up for another turn, huh? This guy snuck right in there. Now we got a bleed problem here on the bottom. And this warrior at 4 HP and not dead yet. That's a good slap right there. Now the dude without underdog is in trouble now. Better keep him whipped. Keep the whips blowing down there on the bottom. Now, I wonder if we can break the warlord here now. Close. Dude, they're going right after those indebted. Not even funny, man. It's not even funny. Can I wall and then walk here? To block that young. to whip this shield bro here on the flank is a pretty good deal, huh? Oh, I should have bill hooked that one. Damn it. Alright, do it. Hell yeah. Massive fucking hit right there. Alright, we're gonna lose that dude down there. That's what we get for not taking out our dog. And just think we were contemplating on whether or not to give him shield mastery and Now we're going to be short and indebted. Because this warrior doesn't know how to die. And another indebted dies to bleeds. That's the third one already. And he had 93 hit points. Look at that, dude. That's 60... That's 60 hit points in one turn that he's gonna lose. Unbelievable. So, right here, this dude with the hammer, we should have switched to the bill hook and killed that warrior with 4 HP. That's where we made the mistake there. And we also made a mistake by not giving him underdog. Dude, 
They're still slapping the fuck out of Waffle here. Our best bro by far, and they're just ripping him up. This one is all but finished here, I think. Pretty good battle here. Yeah, 32 orcs with the indebted. So we did 31 orcs. We did 30, we did a bunch of 22, 24 orcs. <laughs> Bit of a problem there, huh?
Oop, the dog. Rip the dog. The dog. Well, we lose another one. Damn. He wasn't with us for that long, though. We just leveled him up. He was one of the mediocre ones that we just decided to level. Twenty five battles and only five kills. He was a nimble dude in Nimble Forge armor. And he bled. He bled to death. And now we're way the fuck over here with no way to get another bro. We're gonna have to make a beeline to the barbarian camps, I think. Yeah, losing the dog's not a, that big of a deal. We've got another one in the stash right now. So, how do we get another bro? And fast. There is the nearest barbarian camp right there. Stone of the Ancients. So these guys are not mad yet, are they? Yeah, they're going to get mad real fast here. We don't have time to wait for those dudes. Down there. We got to make our way there. We could take another battle, though. See, winning the battles keeps the morale up. And prevents him from getting too pissed off. <clears throat> yeah, they're not mad yet, but they're about to get mad, aren't they? Why are they only content right now? There must be something else affecting him that's not able to be listed. Yeah, look, see that. The indebted are the only ones that care about the other indebted dying. Alright, so what the hell do we have going on here? We need to back up.
another big one, huh? We can do the roamers, maybe. Let's do the roamers. If we can find them. Where the hell did they go? All right, no one's threatening to leave yet. So we have repaired the armor, so it might be time to repair the loot now. Go ahead and try to maximize some gold here. Plus the Barbarian Indebted are way better statted. Although we did find some that were negative, negative two defense, which is pretty terrible. But now they're all pissed off now. But at least no one's red yet. And we made it here, so hopefully this camp is not too bad. It's the big one. We have no choice but to do this. Alright, so what's the situation now? We've got the shield. We've got three indebted shield bros now. One of them does not have an, his nimble armor. But we can steal that from right here. The Brawler has Indom. That could come in play here. Yeah, we need the... We need the melee defense shields. Three goblin shields. I guess he's just gonna rock that heater. <laughs> Not for very long, huh? Here, let's do this. <clears throat> this shield will never break. So that's a good one for the flank. This shield will probably not break. Plus he's a stunner. We've got the stunners. So those three dudes, perfect for each other. And we just need to get the brawler in over here somewhere. Alright, and we need the thrower in there. Well, bro needs to sit. And we need one of the cleaver bros in there. Mm. 
<clears throat> the gunner need we need to sit the gunner down. Yeah, and we need the the other cleaver bro needs to come in there, I think. I prefer the cleaver bros over the duelist here, just because of the fact that they can disarm whenever, whenever necessary. All right, what else can we do? <clears throat> we got mace bros all over the place here. <clears throat> Pretty sure we're good now. Oh yeah, armor change here. Let's double check the armor. Pretty big deal, man. This is the only guy with Indom. So maybe we should put him more towards the middle. Spread out the shields. Anything else we can do? Anything. I can switch armors. Better armor on that guy, maybe. Here we go. Back two really tough fights back to back here. First the Sea of Tents and now the huge barb camp. Okay, the only way to do this is to back up, I think. However, I could make a case of running in here and we're going to get hit by these throwing spears. That's three throwing spears. And javelins, which have already been launched away here. I don't mind being aggressive on the bottom.
We can't be too aggressive on the top. You shot the wrong one. <laughs> Did I go for the kill or the stun? We're pretty much free to do whatever we want with this dude. I can't run him in there. Let's send him up top. In fact, I'm going to send this stunner dude down to the bottom. Let's go ahead and whip that guy. The double whip. And because they stunned that dude, the cleaver guy, they can throw the f spears now. Wonderful. So the whole point of being aggressive in the bottom is pointless. Now he's stunned and dazed. All is not lost. <laughs> still here. We're still in it. Definitely need some disarm action on the bottom. We forgot the impaler. We should have brought the impaler.
not really much we can do here. We just need to run in there. We're gonna have to whip that dude. Could end Dom here, but I don't think we need to. If he wants to throw this shield bro back, then that's fine with me. So this is where I need to kill here. Should be able to kill him right here. Come on. Now we have to waste a crossbow on your sorry ass. I forgot that that, that polearm guy already moved his turn. We lost the turn on him now. We should have disarmed. Thirty five hit points left on that guy. So let's get the mace guy down there now. About to test out this 67 HP indebted, 64 standing melee defense. How can we whip him somehow? Right here.
Let's go ahead and whip that guy as well. Could have whipped him before he moved. Five percent. Seven percent on that guy. And they are destroying the head fight. You're gonna get hit three times. But he's tough. He is tough. I could go for the disarm. And the mace is here. Interesting. I think that actually helps us. So not having to whip the, the shield bros is making all the difference.
One fucking HP, dude. Really? I should have whipped this guy again. He's gonna hit him with that axe now. <laughs> we disarm their whip, bro. That's funny. Hilarious. Ah. 
Thanks for the follow, Moon Shadow. See you later, Misklin. Two sixty nine for twelve. Good camp. Good camp. No, even with even when the armor's at zero durability, the nimble percentage stays the same. Another sure-footed indebted. Wants to be a range, bro. Look at that HP, though. 55. That's what I like about the barbarian indebted. So he, he's a minus one melee defense guy. But since he is sure-footed, he starts with four. So what do we do with you? I cannot make another indebted range guy. No, he's... You can't... There's no way to fence with these indebted. <clears throat> Not effectively, anyways. He'll never have the stamina. At least we found one. We're just going to have to keep rolling them, though. I'm not leveling this guy. I don't care how magnificent his range skill is. I don't need another one of those dudes. We need melee guys. His starting numbers are there, but the problem is when they roll the ones, I don't mind the twos. But when they start rolling the ones in defense and attack, then that's when they become more worthless. That HP, though, that HP is something. Yeah, that's what we did with these other guys. We have a couple crossbowmen that have shield mastery. And they're somewhat effective, but I don't need more of those. And I have a indebted thrower already. I don't need another one. So like, for example, this fight, what would this guy do in this fight? Like, he would just replace somebody that's already doing something important. 
Like, he's not going to replace the the Smashers. And the Mace guy is way more effective. There's just no room for him. Not with the way he's currently set up. You whip him, they get initiative, which could help out if you chose, if you pick dodge. But then if you pick dodge, then that limits you on what he can actually physically do for you, other than just stand there and dodge. And if he's going to be doing that, then he might as well have shield mastery and some defense. But we found one, so that was the whole point, right? Just to go just to find one. And we got the fame item. Excellent. All right. Give me a few minutes here. I'm going to take a quick break.
All right, let's get started and back started here. Hello, testicles. So we just got us a new indebted, and he's not really that usable unless we want to make him to a range guy. Which means we need to keep looking. We can find better. And I know we can. Better does exist. It's out there somewhere. We got a fame helmet. 269 for 12. It's a perfect helmet for the banner, however. What am I giving it to the shield, bro? I mean, the. Yeah, look at that stamina increase there. <clears throat> That's a pretty good one there. A little bit less durability, though, but more stamina. More stamina means more shield walls. All right, good deal, good deal. So let's go sell this stuff. And then you need to turn around and come right back over here and keep looking for Necro Savants. Okay, so normally we would skip all of the tracks, but we get a we get to grab a dude from this. But I'm not gonna take this. I should have sold some crap. Oh well. Okay, this dude. See you later.
Oh, where's our free dude at? Come on, man. Did we not get a free dude from that one? Oh, that was a terrible miscalculation. How do I not know that we don't get a free dude from that one? Shit. So the... We do have the boat over here. This was going to be a quick hands guy, right? Yeah. I need my free dude.
Oh, nice. Ambush trade routes. That means there's a camp nearby that we can go do real quick. Forty six thousand gold. <laughs> All right, if we get the mission to go do the camp, then we have to go do it. Can't do caravan. The tavern is here. Where do you think the camp is? The camp's got to be up north. <sighs> no one's yellow yet. Everyone's still content. The port is there. We've got the money for the port. Might as well use it. Now everyone's pissed. Two choices. We can roll both of them and see who's going to be better. One at a time, though, right? So in this case, I would just try them out, and if one of them has good traits, then uh, we take him first. Like I don't like impatient, so let's go for uh, optimist. Come on, dude. 57 I guess we don't really give a shit about Optimist. Let's roll the other one. Since we can whip the resolve, it's it, it means nothing. Look at this, another crossbowman. Okay, so we're going to hit the next one then, I guess. Let's see what this three skull is. Three skull snakes. No, thank you. Nomads to the southwest. Go ahead and sell here. One linworm.
The banner already has his plus 10, so he does not have to be in this one. We need the shield, bro, with the high defense shield. Where is that shield? There it is. He also needs that dagger, too. Then whatever high damage weapon we can find here. <clears throat> Make sure these guys are the Battleforge guys. That can just move in and strike if necessary. Definitely going to be using this pole arm on whoever we put in there. But who goes in? Who is the next arena guy? The hammer, bro. <clears throat> the hammer, bro, did one battle. The killer on the run did three battles already. So let's put him in. And he can use that this pole arm. Where is his armor right there? Oh my. Let's go for the XP potion here on the brawler. So it's supposed to be steady or worse, not guaranteed they all start wavering. This is good. This is good. We need him down here, though. This guy can move in, reap, and then walk back. Ten per 
percent. Gotta get that overwhelm in, buddy. Double overwhelm, right? so bad when there's only one of them. West now. We need to find the camps so we can roll some dudes. Here, let's see if there's any here. One, two, three. There's three here. Dastard. Sheer footed. And hesitant. All right, so let's try the sheer footed guy. <clears throat> We have to we have to have the slaves. It's part of the origin. We have to have more more manhunters than uh than indebted. I mean more indebted than manhunters. Even have a ledger to keep track. Right now we're at thirteen twelve, which is the maximum. So we're gonna get rid of this one. And we're going to grab that other one. And hopefully he's good. Alright, so 9 defense. But only 50 melee skill. And 40 HP. The lowest you can get. Alright, he's, he's not usable. We'll grab the hesitant guy. Pretty much the same. He, his stats rolled a little bit higher, but he's still trash. We'll hang on to him. The clumsy dastard, we're not even going to roll him. We'll hit the other town. So if we can find a camp, then we can do the camp and grab another one from the camp. We also need some nimble armor, some, some somewhere. Well, 
let's scale through down here on the bottom and see if anything spawned in. There we go. What is that? I'm still looking for Necro Savants, too. There we go. So, now we can just get rid of this guy. We'll grab a free one from there. Alright, what are we dealing with? Two leaders. Thanks for the follow. Lobo Solid. Thank you for the follow.
I'm almost one tap that guy. We need some armor here somehow. There's some nimble armor down there on the bottom. Wonder if we can dagger that. Is it doable? So we're putting the daggers down there now. the net. Break out the nets. No net needed now. This could take a while. <laughs> Grab a Snickers. Actually not going too bad. <laughs> we'll get one. I'm not going to waste a net unless I have to, and I don't have to. Thank goodness for the fast mod. Oh. <sighs> 
<laughs> got him. Finally. Oh my god. Well, we get his armor. How it got damaged, I don't know. Well, let's see about the new dude here. Oh yeah. So, three... He starts with three defense. His hit points are way too low. Good stamina, 104. 54 melee skill, so without a star though. He's guaranteed to get the defense that we want. We want 70-20 out of this guy. But his hit points are going to be absolute minimum here. Like, just ridiculously low. He's two roll, one to two levels behind in hit points versus the other guys. We're going to have to keep looking. He's not good enough. We don't need the helmet, we just needed the armor, so I'll just keep the armor. We should have repaired that loot. We still can. See what we got here for bros. Couple more here. No trait. No, no trait. All right, let's check them out. He's there, dude. Except for the melee skill. Five de starting defense with two stars. That's maximum defense for the indebted. 45 hit points. That's really, really good. And the 104 stamina means he's usable. We can put quick hands on with heavy armor. But the melee skill, though. I mean, he could roll a one every single level. And then what? <laughs> and then he will suck. <clears throat> he's, he's too many levels behind on his melee skill. That's a shame because his defense is perfect. We've seen better. Better does exist. Keep on rolling. Wow, look at this guy with 50 hit points. It's still the melee skills, just two levels behind. Perfect defense, but his hit points, hit points are just so good here. Now we have to hang on to this guy anyways. Until we can find another one somewhere.
Wagenheim. There's nothing at Wagenheim. The caravan for. We've not been doing a lot of caravans this run. I think the towns that we're getting caravan contracts to are just not that good. So the big southern camp is right over here. I think we should go take a look at it. The little small one we're going to leave. Can we get there before daylight? We have to do that camp at night. There's no way we can do it in day. Don't really want to three-way this. <clears throat> Come on, go away, dude. Not even nighttime yet. Yeah, we screwed that up. Can we get there before daylight? We gotta get there before daylight. Come on, come on. No, no! Damn, stupid snakes. Alright, we'll do the snakes.
That wasn't too bad. Cracked up the armor a little bit. You know what? I can probably give this guy a potion. You know what? Let's put the fame crossbow on Ronan and give him the potion for this fight. This is a pretty good fight here. I think it's worth it. Switch out the helmet for the banner here. Leave the noob in there. And then we get rid of this guy now. Twenty-eight. Well, the bleed dancers are way more annoying with that sword lance. And he's not a champion, so he doesn't get any kind of crazy damage bonus. But the double grip is... Uh, Probably powerful enough. Oh, is it not nighttime? Oh, it is nighttime. He just has the, uh, the negating. Helmet. <laughs> Wonder if we could just whip and wait here. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. I can run some of the shield bros up. Well, they might not get any closer than that. <clears throat> yeah, they're already backing up.
Oh, here they come. <laughs> One of them. There's the other blade dancer. Now we hold and see what they do. Move in a little here. <laughs> nice stun. Excellent. Hey, silver shot. Thanks for the raid. All right, pound that dude. Pound him. Nice. Good hit. I want to leave this choke open. Yeah, we need to wait for that blade dancer to come around on the top there. I should have whipped right there. Keep the whips flowing. This blade dancer, he could go in the middle. I don't think he comes around the flank. We'll see. Going for the deserted playthrough, huh? That's definitely a good one. Very challenging. 50% to stun. Forty two on this one. Banner has underdog. 
push him forward. I can aim shot that stalker there. Now let's mace this dude. Or try to, anyways. Come on, gents. Hit him. Banner's gonna hold that choke. Nimble Forge with nine lives. And underdog in 40 defense. Oh, they pushed him back anyways. What's my percentage here? 34? Whip him, dude. Whip him. We could bust out a net. Seven the spear, though. We got the spear. That dude's running away. I was gonna disarm him. <clears throat> we can disarm the leader up there then. We're going to need to net that guy. He can probably just walk away if he wanted to. Well, we better do something here. Our dudes are dying. How about a double whip? The banner does not have a net. He has a bandage. Now that they're whipped, they can hit now. <laughs> Gone. All it takes is a little whip cracking.
Nice. That is exactly what we need. Fame nimble armor. Awesome. Good haul in the loot, too. That is definitely what we're doing. One seventy six for minus ten. Both the new indebted have already have fame armors. All right, this. Oh, they, oh, wow, look at this. Holy fucking shit. Okay, so... That's another shield, bro. But his hit points are low, and he has no melee skill. And tiny. So there's no way he's doing damage. We already have a really awesome indebted shield, bro, though. Damn, that, that, we we're so close here. We we're so close. Plus, his hit points are extremely low, too. <clears throat> we're getting closer. Getting closer. Hey, Ronan. Oh, carry some gear for us, bud. Now, now we don't even need that armor that we daggered. That was a pretty solid fight. Great rewards. What about tools? Flush on tools. Oh, you know the drill. Rinse and repeat, right? Repair this loot. And then we go sell for profit. Oh, there's that pole maze that we needed or for that dude that died. All right, let's get back on the counts here before we mess that up. So we recruited four more. We recruited five more, so that's 27. 
We captured two more. And we released six more. So that's 73. Pretty sure those counts are correct. Green skins are joining forces now. This will be our third crisis. I was kind of hoping for the undead crisis because we need some Necro Savants. Alright, resolve for the fearsome gun ban gunner. Fearsome gunner got a plus one resolve. That's good. Good event. Now, what do you think? Should we sell here? Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to hang on to that pole mace. Small chance we make another mace, bro, huh? Where'd that dagger come from? <clears throat> We steal that dagger from the desert stalker? Because this guy already has one. He can carry two, fuck it. He can't really carry anything else anyways. Six whips is all we need. Buy all the tools. Alright, we need a contract or something. There we go. Northwest. Alright, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do that. <clears throat> oh shit, that's the camp we didn't want to do. Oh well. Snakes are leaving us alone. We'll leave them alone. I forgot we left this up here. Well, might as well use it for what it's for, huh? So unfortunately, without melee skill, the indebted are totally fucking useless. I just made two more shield indebted shield bros here, so... 
I don't need another one because I already have a shield only indebted dude here. So, see you later, dude. Another one released. We are generous. All right, this dude probably needs to chill. He's got cut arm. Not too worried about this battle. Not a big deal here. There we go. Finally got a guy that we can use now. Team player, superstitious. We don't care about superstitious. Max stamina almost. Hit points are a little bit low, but at least he rolled a 42 and not a 40. So now we just need his defense rolls to, to get there. Could be better, sure, but... And that's what we're dealing with right now. Let's put that on there. Give him some armor.
can sit in the reserve and do jack shit. Sit back there and look pretty like the other guy's doing. So how many were we leveling now? Just two? That's right, the other two are already leveled. And they both have shield mastery. So that's two more mace bros. What do we and then this is gonna be a quick hands guy. We might make this this a quick hands guy as well. Stupid fucking snakes. I, I totally forgot about them.
All right, it's getting pretty close here. I need I need to restart the game so it doesn't glitch out. Be right back. Okay, we're back. So let's head on over to the next town. We need to repair the loot. And we can sell.
That looks like a doable caravan. Pretty sure that town has what we want. Just an armory, huh? And it does put us back up in that direction. We need to find Necrosavant somewhere. Where could they be? More fame armor is not wrong. Nomads to the west. Okay, so there's there's a new nomad camp to the west. It's probably over there where we just came from. Sell price there. What if that greedy event can trigger on this playthrough? I would imagine that it does. Hello, Mad Bomb. So, oh, did we just find a camp? That's good to know, man. I'm glad you're enjoying it. So I think any bright dude should be able to clear the dumb trait. <laughs> he gets the good event, but he doesn't clear the actual trait. I mean, it doesn't really matter on an indebted, but still. Well supplied, but the Trade routes are ambushed. Nah. All right. Two, three skull contracts. What do you got for us? Three skull brigands and three skull envoy to the south. We are close to the south. All right. Let's do the brigands first.
Oh, that's that one camp that we were leaving. We were leaving this one alone. Yeah, we need the experience now. Time to level up the dudes. Double kill. Full attack, let's go. Fuck this swamp. Nighttime in the damn swamp. Worst.
How long have you been away? Like five minutes? And the answer is no. Dude, rotating from a fucking bush. No, I still can't hit that fucking leader because he's hidden away. There he is. Found you. See more. I'll take that deal. That's a great deal. I'm all in for you, man. I'm going to light a candle for you. I hope you know what that means. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, lighting candles is also a, uh, a good luck thing, too. So it's, we've got the double whammy going there. It together, dude. Let me know if there's anything I can do. Ah. 
you know, there wasn't a fame in that camp. But lots of good experience. Now we don't have an emergency brigand camp over here that we can, that we could find. So these last two indebted, what are we going to do with them? This guy's at 28 defense, 69. That's good enough for a front line. 75 HP, though. That's pretty bad. He's not even going to get 80 HP. That other duelist is like 77. This guy has pretty good amount of defense. Well, you're not going to talk me into skipping underdog anymore, so I think we just go ahead and take it. This guy does not need to be a shield, bro. So we're taking underdog. The other guy might need to be a shield, bro. I don't know, it depends on, like, how low his defense is going to be. Plus, this guy has some stamina, right? Let's see. Yeah, this guy has enough stamina to be quick hands. What the hell is he doing with that shield? Well, that's good to hear, man. I'm glad you're uh, able to maintain some somewhat success. You you can't attack a town. There's only one mission where you attack a town, but it's not really like a town battle or anything. It's the same kind of battle, but it's a siege quest. But you can attack the friendly armies. You can attack anything on the map. So that's kind of cool, like, especially early on, it's uh, very useful early on. You'll see peasants roaming around and you can attack peasants. And early caravans is a good way to level up and get some gear and money and stuff. We actually did, we did a siege mission and up here... That's why this town is now owned by the red and gold now. Because we helped these guys take it over. Should we keep this armor? I think we keep that armor and put the hyena pelt on it. Pretty sure that's what we do here. And do I want to keep that long axe?
Oh yeah, that's what we do. That was the original plan. Because this guy's our overwhelmer. <clears throat> More initiative for him is good. We're just not using him that often, that's all. <laughs> One more fame nibble armor and actually a couple more, huh? In fact, this guy can probably wear that. This archer. He should be wearing this one. Three skulls and it's not that far away, so let's go. Where's he going? Look at that. It's right there. It's not it's not even that far. Brigands right there. Nice. And we could take the boat to the arena. Oh wait, hold on, no, we can't do that, because we're in the middle of a mission, huh? What do you think? We need the experience. But I do need an emergency camp somewhere around here. We ha we still have the one right there. Plus, we don't really need one next to a port, right? Because we could just pour it back. I think we go all in here. Two liters. Here, let's throw the gun in there. Let's get some gun action going. The gunner. I need to get this brawler in there too. Alright, we'll sit the mace bro down for the brawler. One of these Cleaver Bros is... Okay, 94 melee skill, 48 defense. All right, we'll sit him down for the... For the sniper. Oh, yeah. There you go. Sniping now. Hello, Vermantis.
Ooh, the envoys with us still. Hmm. Well, we don't want him getting sniped. Let's throw him back here. 40 melee skill, zero melee defense. Looks like it's a long sword party. Triple long swords. Yeah, there's some heavily, uh, heavily armed brigands here. Well, we are also heavily armored. He heavily armored and heavily armed. Fucking marksman, dude.
their most of their turns are done. We're gonna see what the ones in the back do. This guy's gonna have to go back here, hide in the bush. <laughs> Freaking long axe up there on the top. Long swords and long axes. These brigands don't fuck around. Yeah, it's still going too, and there's still two more songs. So this is the second to last song right here. It's called The End Is Coming. And the last song is called Blood Rust. How did that leader not bleed out? Oh, nine lives stopped his bleeding. Yeah, check the link, dude. The There's a link there. If you scroll up... Or, yeah. He posted it. Yep. Pretty good album, yeah. The, there's a, a lot of good albums on that playlist. I've been listening to that playlist all week long. <clears throat> it's pretty good for some of the battles, right? I was doing, I was playing it so much though that I had to put a pause on the Viking music just for a little bit. Oh, <laughs> 
If you want to post the link to uh, to some music, go to the Discord, and uh, there's a suggestion channel in there for playlists and albums and songs and stuff. I look at that daily. I'd love to get some new stuff put in there. And a couple indebted shield bros are much easier to manage, dude. I wish I would have done that early on. Instead of later. Dude, all the fucking stuns these dudes are doing. Of course, this guy is an early game guy here. This is the brawler. 241 days. He's been with us the whole time, man. We should definitely repair this loot. I'm going to keep that great sword. We'll great sword up these dudes on s specific battles. All right, we got paid. And we don't really need to follow the tracks. I think going to Wagenheim's not totally wrong, but I want to go down here and sell. Too many fucking whips, dude. What, what the hell? Where'd all these whips come from? Keep six of them. 
hoarding again. I'm hoarding. We're hoarding. Hoarding potions like crazy right now. Need to go do a legendary. Clear that out. Might as well train these guys. <laughs> we got the money. We got the money. Might as well spend it. What's this one? Don't really need to do that. Alright, where the fuck are the Necrosavants, man? Let's go check this ancient undead camp here. Nada. Alright, throw you in there. Let's throw you in there. I think we can just bill hook the noobs. Alright, let's do it. All of the ancients. Camp companion dudes. Oh, the followers. Yeah, I'll, we'll. I'll show you after this fight. See you later, hated hollow. Good night. <clears throat> I think the max level is thirty-two, which was they've changed it. They capped it to thirty-two. It used to be higher than that.
Well, we found some treasure. Not a massive amount of treasure, but treasure nonetheless. Give in to Gimmenberg. That's way the fuck up there. Damn, I don't even remember the last time we went there. Weaponsmith and a Fletcher there. Then we're gonna take. Then we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna take the boat back down to the uh, to the arena. Oh wow, the one uh, 130 damage axe, huh? Yeah, I've scored one of those before. I don't think it had a minus two on it though. Looks like orcs want to play ball. Some warriors. The warriors. Well, we can leave the noobs in for this one. They're going to shield up, though. Shields. Why does that guy have a dagger? We don't need fucking daggers. No daggers allowed. Attack us or not? I guess not. Uh, there must be an work camp in that fog. Uh, oh, the shitty wolf riders want to come. Nope. We're too good. No one no one wants to attack. Hello, Slim Jim. Dogs are good for surround bonuses, chasing down running enemies. And then can also get you out of a jam every now and then where you can just kind of sacrifice them. They're also good early on for ghosts when you don't have a banner. They have super high initiative. Oh, by the way, uh, somebody had asked what the follower loadout I have was. Drill Sergeant, Scavenger, Surgeon, Blacksmith, and the Bounty Hunter. And this would specifically be for the indebted playthrough. I wouldn't use this loadout on another one, I don't think.
Yeah, value the dogs as a, uh, not just as sacrificial, but, uh, to help actually win the fights, especially those early game undead fights. I'm not going to get rid of the bounty hunter because he also makes more champions appear. Significantly increases the chance of encountering champions from like it's from something from like 1% to like 3% or something. So it's a very noticeable increase. All right, here we go. Oh my. Four to choose from. So we already have the max, we already have a max damage one handed flail here. So I doubt the one in the weaponry here is going to be better than the one we have now. Right, and I was correct. The polearm, I'm not buying the polearm. The polearm sucks. The mace is another armor damage mace with a minus one. I might buy that. The bardiche is pretty good. 110 damage on the bardiche. So that's, we're buying that. So I'm buying the mace and the bardiche, and I'm not, I'm not even spending 20k. Let's check the armory here. I could still afford the Linworm Helm. <coughs> so we're buying that. That's another 18. And nothing in the Fletcher. Okay. All right, so I'm buying the mace, I'm buying the bardiche, and we're gonna buy that Linworm Helm. One, two, three. Nice, good upgrade. Great caravan there. Uneventful caravan, yet the spoils are magnificent. We don't have an actual axe, bro, to use the split function on the Bardiche. But that's some really good damage there. One of these indebted is going to rock that thing, no problem. Then we have the mace also. They, they can also use the mace. We could switch over. In fact, let's give that one that minus one mace to the other guy. He's using this one right now, which has 152 armor damage. This one is 141, but has the minus one weapon weapon skill build up. and switch this guy over to the mace and we'll go ahead and switch over the other guy right here to the bardiche and we have two guys leveling up should we give one of them axe mastery he already has quick hands well this guy's already level seven What the hell are we doing here? Give this man a bill hook. Oh, 
That's why he had a fucking dagger. He's tiny. I don't think that matters. Here's the guy we're leveling up. These are the two guys we're leveling up. That's right. This is the guy who we should have shielded up. But one of these guys can probably get Axe Mastery. I don't think we can afford Mastery. Neither one of those guys can use that the split on that Bardish. About the best thing we can do is maybe give it to one of the Cleaver Bros. And have them use it for undead fight, ancient undead fights, maybe. The duelist, the axe duelist can use it. I mean this. Work axe is pretty good though. Either way, all right. Who wants to wear that uh, linworm helmet? Where to go? Did I give it to somebody already? There it is. Three twenty for sixteen. So we already have one here. Uh, we could put it on. It's probably going to be on one of the new guys. Look at that. We got three Linworm helmets. Well, there you go. Three fames, triple fame. So the plan was to hit the hit the harbor. Damn, where the fuck is it? Oh, it's up there. Summerstead, where how far away is that? That's too far, right? That's way over there. All right. The only thing I'm doing is a caravan. I mean, I'll do this. To the west? There's, there's not much west left here. What is that? Oh, that's undead? Yeah, we'll do that. I am 100% down for some undead. Who has that trophy? Oh, it's in the stash. We'll give it to one of the cleaver guys. There you go, El Chapo. Go chop some ghosts for us.
Mm. I don't think they care about stamina. ghosts because we pulled the banner way the fuck up there Shampoo's gonna kill some ghosts for us. Yeah, the game... The game, uh, gives buffs to a lot of enemies. Not a big deal. You want the game to be hard and challenging, so... Some of the... <clears throat> some of the enemies have hidden perks and stuff too, so... It's nothing new. Perfectly reasonable. So much for that undead trophy. This dude, he was at like almost 60 resolve plus the undead trophy and still got charmed, uh, not charmed, but screwed over by the, the ghost there. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's it's the enemy adjusting. <laughs> Learning. Becoming sentient. I don't mind the game challenging you with stuff like that. In fact, I think they should do more of it. You got, uh, what? Shrats get a boost at a certain amount of days. Orcs get a boost. The goblin ambushers get a boost. <clears throat>
Oh, good luck with the uh, dead island. Yeah, the the zombies come back with uh, no head. The fallen heroes do. What if I should uh, explore the rest of this island? All right, this guy got his seventy thirty or seventy twenty. Eighty hit points. Yeah, he did get 70-30. Alright, so we have to forge him. He has to be forged. But now we decide whether or not he can quick hands. 100... 101 stamina, 102 stamina, and we have the, we have some fame armor, pretty sure he can quick hands, oh yeah, definitely, all right, He's basically a, re a solid replacement for the other guy. The other guy had low, low, much lower defense, and we had skipped underdog on him, which was a mistake. That's why he ended up dead. Now we can just put this guy on the front. Nice. All right, now we got a guy with 31 defense, a dude with 28, and then there was another guy with 26 somewhere. Twenty-three for that dude. I swear there's another guy with 26. There it is. So those are our three frontline indebted. Might as well give him one of them the big mace. So I will at some point I will try the great swords on him. And we're still leveling the last one here. He might be a shield mace bro, just like the other ones. 
needs a dog. Well, let's see what this is. That's marauding green skins. We're going to skip that because it's too far away. Let's take the boat. Might as well repair this loot. We're a bit low on coin now. We spent bought three famed items. One linworm again. All right. Well, at least this time we're not going to be wavering. We did it last time with the shield bow. Here he is. And the polearm bro, the killer on the run. Nudney. And we want to give him this polearm here. And then we put in the axe bro. We gave him a bill hook. He's at three matches. Nudney's at four, I think. And the shield bro's at two. <laughs> dude, it was way longer for me, dude. I, I had that game on a fucking CD-ROM, dude. Like, I own that game, but it's on a fucking disc in my garage somewhere.
<laughs> Hell yeah. Good battle. I'm glad they don't get the wavering bullshit on the in the arena. For not having an indebted in the arena. Could you imagine trying to fight one one non indebted and two indebted for the arena fights? Oh, they did get the the debuff look. Huh. I haven't even noticed that at all. This whole this whole time I haven't even noticed that. Unless they're Pissed off from before. No, because then these other guys would still have it, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's just these three dudes who went into the arena. At least they weren't wavering. It, it does affect the ICK fight, yeah. It's the same thing, right? At least they weren't wavering like last time. Three skulls. Oh, that's bullshit. All right, what are we doing now? Back to the fog, right? There's a couple goblin camps. We can decide whether or not we want the Lightning Sword to do Goblin City. Or do we want to go at, go at it the way we are? Looks like it's the next Legendary here. Then there's the Kraken. Which we can't do because we can't find Necrosavants. Let's go do that goblin camp right there. That's one of those big ones. We ain't doing shit until we buy food. I know that. Three hundred food. Sell the loot. Not gonna repair everything. Just sell it. We're gonna be full by the time we get back. I don't I don't need to keep these weapons anymore, right? Well we we have two more guys we're leveling still, right? This dude The other guy is leveled. Yeah, we already gave the other guy a weapon. We have one more dude to level up, and we don't know what he, what we're gonna give him. Probably not quick hands, though. So we don't need to keep the long axe. We don't need that. We don't need that. That. Uh, should we go for mace?
Not sure if I should hang on to this pole mace. Well, it's not going to hurt to just hang on to it for a little while. little while longer. One un one ancient undead camp, and then boom, we could do the Kraken right after. Let's head north. You know what? You know why it didn't work on the arena last time? Because if you have the right amount of indebted on the, like, in the top two rows, then it won't mess you up. Because that time I put this guy in there just like that, and it unevened my, my counts in the top two rows. So when you do the arena fight, you need to make sure that you have the, the correct number of indebted in the top two rows. That's why I did it. Yeah, the Dead Island's an older game, so you may run into some problems with uh, drivers and stuff. You may have to run it in compatibility mode or something weird like that. I have a Windows 7 computer that I play the older games on. And I also have a Windows XP computer that I play even older games on. And I still have my Windows 2000 laptop. That I use for other stuff, uh, like really older games. Of course, lately I haven't been playing any super old games. I need to get back at it. Nostalgia kicking in.
That one's perfectly doable. Let's put the crossbows in there. I forgot who had the trophy. Pretty sure I put it on one of the cleaver guys. the fall of attack let's go
No fame item from that camp. But we definitely got some experience <laughs> and an injury. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah. I was using one this run. Believe it or not, we had a, found a goblin bow that was better than the war bow. 65 damage, 61% armor pin. Earlier in this playthrough, I was using it. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. It was it was pretty damn good. We actually ditched it for the bow we have we're using now. Which is just slightly better. Now the goblin bow has the same amount of range. You you only get minus one range when you don't have the mastery. Yeah, you can use these goblin bows to launch just as long as the other ones. See, range seven tiles. This is exactly the same. Green skin horde.
level four on our dude here. He's almost there. Gonna throw the blaster in here. What do you know more than worms? You might be thinking of crossbows. Crossbows have one less range. I thought this guy was our spearman because the spearman had this fame mace. Whoops. Must be in reserve right now. Yeah. <laughs> 
So there's a mod that I use that allows you to have glowing red eyes when the Killing Frenzy perk is active. So that's what that is. So when Killing Frenzy is active, which it's active for two turns, your eyes will glow red. There's another version where they glow blue. Yeah, the, the team is shaping up pretty good. Yeah, we're leveling the last dude now. Getting to level 5. Not a whole lot of defense here. Fifteen defense. He he's definitely gonna need shield mastery. He's got two more rolls. He just needs to get to 20. Nah, there's no way, dude. This guy's got shield mastery written all over him. Look at his hit points, too. So, if we do the same thing like we did on the other two... This guy does stay useful at times, right? I don't want to have three shield indebted bros in there. He's going to be useless without shield mastery. Might as well just give it to him. No, we're going to need it. And then we might as well give him mace mastery too. Well, there's no way we're doing linworms, so they can fuck right off. That's the second time that Linworms have spawned right next to that camp. This goblin camp right here. So we can do this at night. The blue vials are 
stamina potions. They're called second wind potions. It only works for one battle. Buff you up a little bit. Allowing you to recover more stamina faster. Yeah, it's it's a pretty good deal. A lot of the potions are pretty amazing. They have different uh, functions and can control different stats. So I'm wondering if we can if we should try this during the day. It's only one shaman. We have our shield bros now. So let's go ahead and try it. Shield bros. Get in there. Take all the indebted shield bros and just run. Run to the front. Except this guy. He doesn't have Battle Forge yet. We might, we might nimble this guy too. I don't know. His hit points are kind of low though. So that's four. That's four shields right there. Just send them. Run them right in there. The other guy will keep back. We got the gunner. We've got the sniper. Three other crossbows. Then we have our damage rows are in there. This is where we switch to the great swords. Wow, this guy can actually throw a net. I wonder if this guy can wear heavier armor now. Did I sell that 300 armor? 260. Here it is right here. It's broken though. 38 stamina. No, he can't. All right, let's give it a go. Daytime. Yeah, daytime lets us bring all the range bros in there. But I do have some potions that allow us to see better at night. And we do have a helm that... Negates nighttime penalties. So. Bringing some range bills at night is perfectly doable as well. So. The only difference between night and day mostly is going to be the vines. We're going to get vined on turn one.
Yeah, goblins, 30 goblins in a swamp can end a run, no matter how great your team is. It can be extremely devastating. Yeah, the gunner's not even going to get in there. Not yet. There was a couple characters in that game that were pretty cool. They each have their own uh, dialogue and stuff too whenever you're fighting. <laughs> Next turn, the gun's gonna be blasting. <laughs> We're cocked and ready. Nice. Oh, God. 
Wunderbar. So this actually went pretty well. <laughs> Lots of range bros here. Mm -hmm. The high ground. That's not always going to be the case, right? Double fame camp. Nice. So two ninety eight for fifteen and another rain shield. This one's pretty terrible. At least we get a Finally got a fame item from one of the goblin camps. Ninety melee skill for okay. It's about time. So who's going to wear that helmet? <laughs> Looks like this guy can use the stamina. Two 
two 300 Elms sitting in the inventory. We also have a Fame Mace in the inventory. What's going on with that? Where's our mace, bro? Oh, that's right. The we gave him great swords for the goblin fight. All right, we need to find Necro Savants. Where is that Kraken at? Right there. So we have to eat this fog as much as we can. We have 351 food. Linworms are chasing us. Chasing us down.
Ooh, another juicy one. At least we can do this one at night. Alright, let's get those shield bros ready. Probably gonna go ahead and potion up somebody. I don't think I'm bringing the gunner, not at night. Not on a hill, right?
We do have a lot of these potions, so we need to use them. We'll put one for you and one for you. We'll pass on the thrower. Yeah, in fact, I'll put in another... Uh, we'll put the duelist in there. <laughs> Here we go. It's a champion skirmisher there. No, I've already activated Goblin City. So we don't have to save any. Yikes. Oh, shield's coming in handy already. Oh, wow. We haven't taken Pathfinder yet on this guy. Oh, that's going to be the next one. Next perk. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry about that. Here we go with the fucking punctures again, man. Well, that theme park must have some fucking armor pin on it, huh?
Oh yeah, a little bit of armor pin there. It normally comes with 25%, upgraded to 34. And then a famed great sword from the camp. Shield damage and maximum fatigue reduction. Well, I guess we just take what we can get, right? <laughs> And this, this origin is a lot of grind. We're still waiting on that indebted to level up. Level five. So he has the same problem. Eh? The other indebted are stealing XP from him. Pretty crazy, man. 
All right, I'm going to call it. 10 hours. It's time for a break.